What's up nail fiends? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I created this super easy, festive, cozy design complete with gel polish. This was a super easy look. You guys have been requesting easy gel polish looks, so here is one of them for you guys. So if you would like to see how I completed this look, then just keep on watching. So my loves, diving right in with today's video and like I mentioned previously, this set is complete with gel polish only and the system I'm using today is by Ink London. So I'm first going in with their base elevation and this is just a really nice thick juicy base coat that helps with any imperfections on the nail plate and guys, it is freaking fab. So I'm just applying a thin layer of this to all of the nails so I have a smooth foundation to start doing my nail art on. Next, I'm going in with the middle finger and I'm doing one coat of Eyelac I-54, which is just a white gel polish. I'm only applying one layer because I am putting decals over the top and this gel polish is nice and pigmented anyway. Then on the remainder of the nails, I'm going in with Eyelac I-63, which is called Classic Red and it is absolutely gorgeous. So basically, I'm just applying two coats of this to all of those nails, except for the pinky nail, which I only did one coat on. And then I'm going to fully cure this base layer for 30 seconds. And then this is where things take a little bit of a weird turn guys, so for the thumb and the ring finger I'm applying a matte base coat which is from Premier Gel and then on the rest of the nails I'm applying the flubber top coat from Ink London and that's because you will see very soon that I wanted a matte surface on some nails and a shinier one on the others. And then again that goes into my LED light for a full 60 second cure. And here is the base already for the nail art. So guys, like I mentioned previously, I am going to be using these absolutely adorable collaboration decals from Queen of Decals and Amanda Brown, I think her name is. Um, I'm basically using Valentine's Day decals, but they do remind me of the more colder weather, the more festive season. I always think like tatty teddy bears are very festive. So even though these are Valentine's Day decals, I am using them for a winter set and they went freaking fabulous. So as you can see, I cut out my decal soaked it in water for about 15 seconds. I applied a layer of that flubber top coat to my nail again and on that layer that has not been cured, I am going in with my decal and I'm basically just working this decal into that wet gel, applying it so I am pleased with the shape and then I go ahead and iron out any of those creases and it basically does take a little bit of time to get all of those creases out but the results are fabulous anyway and then when I was happy with that guys once again that goes back into my LED light for 60 seconds. So after I have taken that um, nail out of the light and fully um, wiped away any sticky layer, I basically just added a ring of red right around that nail and I'm now going in with the same technique but this time with a really beautiful gold gel paint from Indigo Nails and a fine detail brush and I'm basically just outlining exactly where I put that red and that just covered up any of the areas that the decal didn't quite fit on the nail and I thought it looked really festive and brought the rest of the look together then again guys i fully cure that nail and my next step is to go in with some builder gel in a bottle because these are um these decals do need to be covered with an acrylic or a hard gel or something like that and i just find it working with the builder gel in a bottle so much easier than using a brush and all of that good stuff it means i get a nice even layer without the nail being overly chunky so as you can see i'm using premier gels clear liquid builder gel in a bottle and i'm basically just applying a nice nice even coat of this over that whole nail to protect my decal. 
Then of course to smooth out the surface of this nail and remove any of those little bumps and ridges I am going in with my 180 grit hand file also from Ink London here and I'm just refining the whole nail, the side walls and the tip and then I will go in with my Ink London buffer to remove any of those harsh scratches and give me a nice smooth finish on that nail. And now guys we are moving on to the pointer which is the sweater nail so for that I'm using Dixie Plates Sweater Weather 01 stamping plate also their stamper and Upper Cheeks stamping gel in my favourite black so the stamping gel is basically a lot lot more forgiving than your average stamping gel so if you struggle with pick up and things like that definitely give this a try because like I say guys it gives you complete um control basically you also get um more time and things like that to stamp your image and just basically perfect it how you wish so i directly stamped that onto that nail and then i flash cured that for 20 seconds to keep that image just in place and then i finished off with a layer of matte top coat then onto that matte top coat with the same gel polish that I used to paint the nail, so that's Ink London's Classic Red. I'm basically filling in in between all of those black lines. But what I will say at this point is you do need to be very careful that you don't go over your black lines because when you go to sugar the nail later on, the glitter will stick to the lines and you won't see the sweater print as prominent as you probably would wish because trust me, I made that freaking mistake too, guys. And you just need to add a little bit of gel polish to the middle of your image for your glitters to stick onto and it gives it such a beautiful effect so like you can see here i'm just filling in all of that de um that stamp that i created and then before i cure that i'm going in with um glitter arty nails glare flare this is not that one this is the one that i actually made a mistake but i forgot to film it but i just left this part in simply because it's the same process and then i just tapped off the excess and double cured that nail so now for the plaid nail i'm going in with ink london's no wipe gel paint in um black knight i believe it's called um this one is a really thick viscosity paint so with that i'm adding some gel top coat also from ink london just so i can make a more translucent gel so i'm mixing those both in the middle so i have the clear the translucent gel and then the opaque black all in one palette then with the translucent gel I just made, I'm going in with a detail brush and I'm basically adding my plaid design. So I'm starting at the top of the nail to the cuticle area and then I'm doing my first sort of solid black colour there. But it's, instead of it being completely solid, we are using the translucent gel. So I am working that in so I have darker parts in some areas because I want this look to be sort of more of like um, a distressed feel as opposed to like... A more put together plaid look i just thought it went so much better with the tatty teddy sort of theme so yeah i'm repeating the process slightly th further down that nail with another black block and then i'm just taking my gel brush here and tidying up those lines so the top part of the design is uh, nice and straight Then the last stripe going across the nail is just a tiny one. This basically is just going to be more for adding the little boxes. So basically you don't have to add a big one here. Just a tiny little line going across that nail in the same technique. Then you pop that into the light. And now I'm going in with ones that go directly down the nail. So this is where the curing came in handy. Because you're not disturbing what you just put on the nail. And then I'm basically doing two stripes at each side. Tidying up as I go along. And then. And I will pop that into my light for a full cure again. So back to the paint palette and going in with that fully opaque gel paint I am now going to be adding boxes at the top of these nails so you could sort of see here where the design is starting to come together I'm going to be putting tiny little boxes at each corner there and then I do the same with the second stripe and you want these stripes to be in line with each stripe that you created so the design is cohesive and all comes together and then I also added tiny little ones at the bottom as well and then then I fully cured that nail 
Then I first top coated the nail with the flubber top coat. This one helped to smooth out the nail, any imperfections in that nail. And then I went in with a matte top coat. And I like to do that sort of a double top coat when I'm working with mattes. Simply because if you sort the nail plate first, then the matte top coat is super smooth and really pretty. And here is what my played nails look like. And I have also done the same on the thumbnail. So for the pinky, this one is super, super easy. I'm going in with a layer of that flubber top coat. I pop that into my LED light, fully cure that. And then I'm going to be using my Time to Shine Glitter Brush from CJP and Glitter Arty Nails Glare Flare. And I'm just tapping this into the inhibition layer of that gel and basically just working that in. I will then use my finger to give it a good rub to make sure any of that excess glitter is basically added to the nail. And then I will brush off the excess with with my dusting brush and then I will top coat that nail with a shiny top coat which was also the Ink Club London flubber top coat. So guys, once I had completed the pinky, I popped that into my LED light for a full cure and this is what the set looks like before I have gone ahead and added bling or anything like that. You can most definitely leave it like this, but you know me, I always need to add a little bit more. So I'm going to be using some Swarovski crystals in gold and red for this, some broken gold pieces, my glitter bells base glue and also my tan or pickup tool. So I'm basically starting at that cuticle area again, I'm adding some of that liquid builder gel in a bottle, just a little bit to adhere some of that broken gold to, and then I'm just using a fine detail brush to basically add this sort of in like a semi C shape, just around that cuticle area, and I'm just making sure none of that is coming down too much onto my little um, tatty teddy here, and then I fully cured that nail, and I'm now going in again with some flubber top coat just to secure in the rest of my look and that is that nail complete so guys moving on to the last nail again and that is the pinky nail i went in first with a layer of that glitter bells base glue and then i'm going in with some of these gold swarovski crystals and then to the side of those i apply some red ones as well and i thought they sort of looked really festive and tied in with the rest of my look so i left them to fully secure to the nail and then i went in with another layer of that ink london's flubber top coat again making sure i was buttoned right up to those crystals but not going over the top of them and then I pop that back into my LED light for 60 seconds. And finally my loves, here is what my finished cosy winter set looks like once everything was complete and I must admit I absolutely adore how this one turned out and even though they are Valentine's Day decals, they definitely gave me the sort of cosy winter sort of feels and I thought they tied in beautifully with the classic red, the plaid design and also the cosy sort of sweater look. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the first of my sort of festive type nail designs. And if you want to see any more easy gel polish looks, definitely let me know in the comments section below what you would like to see. And that's something that I could definitely do for you guys because I had so much fun just having a little play with my gels and creating this look. And finally, my loves, to finish off today's video, you know the drill. If you did enjoy my take on these cosy winter sort of tatty teddy bear nails, then definitely give me a thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell to be updated anytime I upload a new video. And if you don't mind, give it a little like and a share. It helps me greatly with my channel. And as always, to my lovely returning subscribers, I love you guys so much thank you so much for joining me today and i will see you in the next one bye